Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Um, in my last video, some of you said that you would like to kind of see what I'm kind of working on on the side, the kind of the stuff that I got piled on my couch. And so I thought I would just make a short, fun little video today and kind of show you some of the other projects that I'm working on. And these are some things that I am making for a craft show or a craft fair that I'm doing at my church in November. So I gotta start working on this stuff now before it sneaks up on me. But yeah, I am making felt food. If you guys can see here, this is all, this is all made out of felt. They're all stuffed like little plushies. And they're they're children's toys. They're all they're all felt food that you that kids can play with or you know if you're a, an adult with a child at heart, you can play with them too or just collect them. But yeah, they're all all made out of felt. And I absolutely love, love these. This is, I've been making these for quite a few years now. And so they've been the most, the most popular out of everything that I have made. And um, so yeah, so I'm just going to keep making some more this year. So look, my little donut. This is actually made out of a sock. It's made out of a sock. No, no joke. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. I love, I love these so much, but yeah. And so, and most of this is all, um, hand sewn. Um, some of them are done on the sewing machine, but, uh, a lot of these I prefer to, uh, to hand sew. If my, my personal preferences is I like, I like the hand sewing. I don't know. It's it's a lot more simpler. It's it's more easier to control. It's it's more calming for me in a way. It's much more calming. You don't have a big machine to worry about. It's not loud and you know obnoxious. And then plus it's it's easier to you know have this stuff sitting in your lap while you're watching TV than trying to you know crane your neck to watch TV while you're working on the sewing machine. <laughs> But yeah, so right now this little piece is actually going to be turning into a graham cracker for my s'mores. These are like the most popular seller, so I got to make a bunch of these. I've got my two graham crackers, your marshmallow, and your little bar of chocolate. And you just put it all together like so. And you got yourself a little felt s'more. I, I sell out of a lot of this stuff during the craft show. I've got lots of fun things. I got my orange and my tomato. This is a new one, my piece of bread, which I absolutely love. I even make ketchup and mustard. Yeah, lots of, lots of cute, adorable little things. And they're just so much fun. And the thing that I like about making these two is I don't see anybody else making them there. I've never seen, I've been to lots of craft fairs, lots of craft shows, and I've never seen anybody else make something like this. I've, I've never seen it around. And so I think that's why my stuff is so, such a, like a big hit and a big seller. I make a lot of money just with that one craft show because nobody else sees it around. I mean, I have looked online and people make these and sell them on Etsy, but I don't ever see them like at an actual craft show. And so I only do one craft show a year. It's just for the one at my church. And uh, I usually only do it just so I can make a little extra cash to uh, buy Christmas presents for my friends and family. So, uh, this is all, none of, none, no, no money I make is for profit or anything. I just make this so that I can buy presents for everyone. That's all the money goes for. So this is not a, for a business. This is not a business at all. This is just something fun that I do on the side. I just absolutely love making these. I love how they turn out. You probably wonder, where do I get my patterns from? I have gotten them from everywhere. My patterns are from all over. Some of them are just, you know, like ideas that popped into my head. Some I kind of, most of them I've tweaked for my own, my own way. If I couldn't, if I just saw like a picture, I might see a picture somewhere in a magazine or 
And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't have a pattern, but I think I can make up my own. Like, like this is my little mini football. I made up this pattern. I made up that pattern and I'm so, I'm so pleased with it. It turned out so adorable, so cute. And then of course I made up this one too. I had no pattern. This is my bacon and eggs. I love the little, the little egg is squishy in the middle. My bacon and eggs and my bacon, I put a piece, I sewed a piece of pipe cleaner in the middle so you can twist and bend your bacon any way you want. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that so cool? But yeah, I get my patterns from all, all over the place. And some I kind of just mostly make up myself. Most of my patterns I kind of have to make up myself because, you know, I'm, it's like I don't know where else to... I know some, some Etsy shops will sell patterns, but I'm like, I, I don't want to be spending the money to buy a pattern. Come on, get in there. A little glorious threading of the needle. Nothing like just gotta wet, just gotta wet your whistle, wet that little end, and yeah, I've only got just a small pinch of what I've actually uh, made sitting here because I can't, I couldn't fit it all on the uh, on the desk. There was there was no room for everything that I've made. I got some real big items too, like I've made some really cute like um they're like camping lanterns because it came from the camping kind of like a camping set that goes with the s'mores. I've got an actual fire and some little logs. Those are some of my big ones. I even have a cute little bowling set. I've got a bowling ball and it comes with six bowling pins. And those are that's actually like one of my real popular sellers too. And then and then I found I kind of found this pattern on a YouTube video. It's a little roll of sushi. It's a roll of sushi, isn't that adorable? And I have a little tray that I make to set the sushi in. And then I've got a cute little spatula. So yeah, lots of lots of cute little patterns from all over and some that I kind of make up. And I'm working on a piece of cheese right now. I'm gonna sew the edges of this piece of cheese. But yeah, so this is this is kind of what I'm working on, on, on in the background, guys. When I'm not doing a video and working on some glue books or harvesting magazines, I'm I'm working on this stuff right now. And so, yeah, I've got it all spread on my couch. It's just spread everywhere. I've got a lot of things I've got to go through because i got to cut out more felt. i got to see what I have and count my inventory. I've got so many, so many other cute things that I can't show you right now that I'm working on. But, yeah, I really... I really needed to sit down and and do this. This this uh, the hand sewing. I love I love hand sewing. Like I will I will choose this over the sewing machine any day. I know it does take a lot longer, but there are some some items here I you, you have to hand sew. You can't do it on the machine, but I I prefer it because it's so it's calming. It's soothing and quiet. And after the day I've had today, I really need this. Oh my gosh, talk about your terrible Tuesday. Things did not go well today. Oh my gosh. First off, we're going to start with, you know, machines not running very well. And that's, that's in a way, that's normal. And then we've also got, you know, people just don't know how to do their job. And that also is normal. But then you add those two together and you make that happen all day and it's like oh my gosh when when will this day end when does it end and then of course let's add some more excitement to that at about 1 30 this afternoon at work we lost power now, let me paint you a little picture first about where I work and how this is really uh, not a good thing. I work in a food factory, a very, very large food factory. We make frozen dinners, like frozen entrees. So, imagine this very large, very large, large food factory that has massive freezers that we have to keep at 40 below with lots of other rooms that, you know, stay at like 35 degrees. And then the whole entire building shuts down. I mean, 
I was working in a part of the plant where there are no windows, so when all the lights went out, it was pitch black. I am not joking. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. It was completely black. Until the emergency lights came on, you couldn't see anything. So I was kind of thankful that somebody had their phone on them and they were able to whip out a light for at least a little something because it was, it was black. It was black in there. You couldn't see nothing. So yeah, and we come to learn it wasn't just our plant, but it was like a good three to five mile radius around us. And we were without power for, oh, I want to say maybe just a little less than an hour but that's still too long for a big for a big factory, a big food factory to be down. And then of course, because we're such a large factory and we've got so much machinery, so many things, we couldn't get running right away as soon as the power came on. We had to wait another good hour. And even then we still couldn't run because it was like it was getting really late. So I got out of work a bit late and it's just it was talk about your crazy day huh oh and then of course let's top that off with even more oh i'm not done guys i'm not done it was bumper to bumper traffic all the way home <laughs> oh yeah so That has been my day. So can you tell why I really... Oh, that, that ripped out. Can you tell why I really want to just sit here and uh, sit and craft? Why I just want to do some peaceful, quiet sewing? Because I, I need this so bad. But yeah. I And, oh, and let's, let's top it off with even more... It's like over 90 degrees outside, guys. It is over 90 degrees out there. It is atrociously hot. So I come home and my house is like 74, 75 degrees inside because I don't have air. Remember, guys, I don't have central air. So it's, it's hot inside my house. So I've got no relief, nowhere to go to be, you know, relaxing. So I turned my air conditioner on right away as soon as I got home, but of course that only cools off just the uh, just the two bedrooms. It's not going to get the living room at all. Isn't this so cute? Look at the cute little piece of cheese. And when that's all done, you can put that on the slice of bread. <laughs> oh, yep, I love making these. These are so much fun. And I just cut out some more paper pieces for a new pattern that I'm going to be making. I probably should have put that on the desk. I could have showed you guys what I'm, a new one that I came up with I'm going to make. But maybe, I'll, maybe I'll show you guys some more in another video. Yeah, if you guys want to see like more in depth of some of these items, let me know. And I can totally do some more. Right now I'm just kind of playing with a piece of cheese and chatting about how my chaotic day went. But if you totally want to uh, see some more in-depth stuff of these, I can totally do that. Or if you want to see another video where I can show you what items I wasn't able to show you, I can do that too. Totally up to you guys. Totally up to you guys. I'm just, I'm just sitting here having fun. Just trying to relax, trying to unwind trying to cool off. But yeah. So do any of you guys like to sew? Like, are you into like sewing? Are you more of a quilter? Or do you like to sew items like clothing or other useful things? Or are you like a hand sewer? Do you like to do things by hand? I can do both. I can do all of it. I can quilt and I can sew clothes. Not very good. I'm not very good at that. I haven't had much practice, but I can I can do both and I do a lot of hand sewing. I'm probably a lot better at the hand sewing because I've done way more of it. But yeah, but I can do all of it. I can I can totally do all of it. 
But yeah, so this is what I'm working on, guys. Hope you like them. I know I really do. I'm real excited for the craft fair. It's not till November, but with craft fairs, you gotta be working on this stuff year round. Gotta be working on it year round. Yep, see how it's just, it's so smooth and peaceful and it's quiet. So I'll be working on this while I'm sitting watching TV tonight to help me unwind. This is definitely like ASMR vibes. I like ASMR. Sorry guys. Sorry if some of you guys don't like ASMR. Whoop. Gotta get the knot in the correct spot. There we go. Here we are. And I'll I'll finish doing those little holes in a second. But yeah. That didn't work out so well. Gotta actually make sure that there is a knot in the thread. But there. And there we go, guys. That's what I'm working on. I have a little piece of bread here that I'm working on too. This is a little more challenging because you gotta sew the crust from the edge and then you gotta, there's pieces of cardboard in there to kind of give it its, its whole its shape and then you gotta stuff it. So I'm working on that yet too. These are some of my favorites too. Look at the little carton of eggs. There's eggs in there. It comes with half dozen of eggs. Isn't that so cute? And they're all squishy. They're all plushy squishy. So they're soft. Yeah. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked kind of seeing something new. And if you want to see more in-depth stuff or if you just want to, you know, chat and watch me sew, I can totally do that too. I like I like doing all of it. Totally like doing all of it. But yeah. So if you like the video, hit the like button and uh, please subscribe because I do got more stuff coming. I got a different I got a different video coming tomorrow with some new stuff that I kind of was playing around with and I thought I'd like to, you know, share it with you guys. I always like to share my fun ideas with everybody. Because, you know, it's, you know, something I like. But, yeah. I am now going to go drown myself in a popsicle or two. Maybe I have some ice cream out there, too. Anything. I just need something cold. I just want to just sit in something cold. So hot in here. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.